So we'd see the wheel and the crank have fixed axis rotation. Then we can see that this curvilinear translation of the red bar, because it's staying horizontal, but it's still kind of moving in a circle. Then the slider's got the rectilinear motion. We can see that in the green. And then general planar motion from this blue link, because the left side is sliding, but the right side is rotating. So we take this slider wheel crank mechanism. B has length L1, D has length L2, and the radius of the circles, okay, that'll be L3, and this is also L3. So if we're given L1, L2, L3, and speed of rotation at the beginning, say that's omega A, we want to find speed of slider and omega of link D. Well, so we learned before, if we have point here, B, point here, A, we know that BB equals V A plus V B with respect to A. But for fixed axis rotation, V B just equals V B with respect to A because A is not moving. So this is omega cross R B with respect to A. Okay, now if we have a chain of things, say we've got A, B, C, D, for a chain of things, you just keep on adding those omega crosses. So here, V, we know VB equals omega cross RAB, but let's say actually A could be moving. Say A is sliding with BA. So BA is given. BB equals BA plus omega. So this is omega AB because link AB. Omega BC. Omega CD. So we'll have Omega AB cross with R B with respect to A. Now C, we just add on. So BC equals VB plus Omega BC cross with our C with respect to B. So once you get VB from up here and you plug it in and get VC and then you get VD equals VC plus omega CD cross with RD with respect to C. So for a chain, then the velocity is also a chain. You just keep adding on those omega cross r's. So we'll do the same thing for this problem up here. So let's say, let's label each of these. This is going to be point A, point B, point C, point D. Okay, so 
to get the speed of the slider, the speed of point D, then we need to know what's going on throughout the whole entire chain. We'll say find these at the instant shown. So this way we can do a reality check. And if we're given L1 equals six meters, L2 equals eight meters, L3 equals two meters, and omega equals one meter radian per second. Always use radians instead of degrees with this stuff. So, all right, first we're gonna start out with, we need to get velocity to A. So we know for A, so velocity of A, this point PA is just gonna equal omega A cross with R A. So over here at the origin, we can call that zero. We'll say this is X, this is Y. So if we do this cross product, now just looking realistically, if link A is rotating counterclockwise and it's in this position, the velocity of point A should be to the left. Okay, so that's gonna be our reality check. So we put this into the formula, we'll have I, J, K, and this is the cross product. So we've got zero, zero, then omega A goes here, because omega is always in the K hat direction, always, every single time. For a two dimensional problem, omega is in the K hat direction. So that's gonna be one because omega is one. And then the radius for A, well, we know is straight up. So that's gonna be in the J direction. So we'll have zero, L3, which is two, zero. So if we do this cross product, we get I hat times zero, which is gonna be, cross product is this multiplication minus this multiplication. That's how you get cross product. So in I hat direction, we're gonna have zero minus two times one, which is two, equals negative two I hat meters per second. So we look up at this, we see, does that make sense? Well, it's the negative X. And the magnitude is omega times R. It's good. Okay, so that equals the A. Now then for B, velocity of B equals velocity of A plus velocity of B with respect to A, which is omega B cross with R B with respect to A. But we know this one is curvilinear translation. We figured that out from before because since the radius of the wheel is L3 and the length of the crank is L3, then the two ends of B are gonna be moving at the same speed. So that's gonna be our reality check. Velocity at point B should be the same as velocity at point A, since that is a type of translation. But we'll do the math, make sure that works out. Well, if it's curvilinear translation, for any type of just translation, omega is gonna be zero. So we get VB equals VA, which equals the same thing we found up here, negative two I hat meters per second equals VB. Now for C, we look at this point. For C, VC equals VB plus omega C cross RC with respect to B. Well, for our reality check, 
we know that if B is moving to the left at some speed, C must be moving to the right at that same speed. They're both connected on the same wheel. So if they're both at ends of the wheel, then their speed is going to be the same. It will be in different directions. So velocity will be different because uh, the angle will be different, but the magnitude will be the same. Um, but we know that B is moving to the left, so C must be moving to the right at the same speed. So let's just work the math out and make sure that is the case. So for this, then B equals omega cross R C with respect to B. So B, B equals negative two I hat plus have cross product I, J, K, zero, zero, omega C, which if C has the same radius as A, and they're both that same fixed axis rotation, then their angular velocities are gonna be the same. Omega C equals omega A. Because that distance from the axis of rotation is the same. And they're connected at the same distance by B and just in between each other. So this radius, point C is directly below point B. So there's no X component. There is a Y component. It's gonna be negative because it's going down to get from B to C, you go down by 1L3, 2L3. 1L3, 2L3. So negative two times L3, which is also two, so that's negative four. So if we do this cross product, so this is gonna be I hat times zero plus four. J hat's gonna be zero, K hat's gonna be zero. So then four minus two equals two I hat meters per second equals BC, which we can see by our reality check, same magnitude, opposite direction is B. So now we're almost there. Now we gotta find velocity of D. Well, we know that this end of D is just going to the left. So for D, we know that, let's see. Velocity of D equals velocity of C plus omega D cross with RD with respect to C. But now there's two things we don't know. We don't know VD and we don't know omega D. But what we do know about VD is that it's going only in the X direction we know it's going to the left. So we'll say that is gonna be negative VE. So whatever speed the slider is moving and it's going in the negative direction in X. So that's gonna equal VC, which we had here was two I hat plus I, J, K, zero, zero, and we don't know omega D, so we just gotta put omega D, because these are the two final things we've gotta find. And then radius, so position of R, D with respect to C. Well, looking at this, this link is given but we don't know the X component of it. However, we do know the Y component of it. 
is L3. So this is theta. We know here sine theta equals L3 over L2. So theta equals sine inverse L3 over L2, which equals sine inverse of 2 over 8, which equals 14 degrees, or that comes out to be 0.245 radians. Okay, so now that we know this angle, we can find that x distance. We'll call it L2x. L2x equals L2 cos theta. So that is going to equal 8 cosine of 0.245. equals 7.76. So down here we've got the x direction, but it's negative because it's to the left, 7.76. The j direction is L3, but from C to D you go up, so that's going to be a positive and then the zero in the z direction. So negative VE i hat equals two i hat plus from this cross product, we've got i hat times that, so zero minus two omega d, and then minus j hat times zero minus negative 7.76. Okay, so we've got this equation. Now, if you forgot how to do cross product, you can look it up on Wikipedia. It's really easy, um, or check in the book. So this is a vector equation. So it's got i and j, and it's got two unknowns, v, e, and omega, d. So We've got two equations, one for i, one for j, and two unknowns, so we just solve. So in the j, nothing on the left side equals j, so we just have zero equals this thing on the right, negative 7.76 omega d, so then zero equals omega d. So at this particular instant, angular velocity of length d equals zero. It's not always going to equal zero. In this particular instant shown, it does. So then we'll go on to the i equation. Minus v e equals two minus two times zero v e equals negative two and is in the i hat direction meters per second. So to recap what we did from this problem, we just follow the chain from the start to the end using the relative velocity of r cross omega found it for every point, plugged it in. When we got to having too many unknowns, then we used the vector equation, solved out x and y for the omega and the v.